dear learner till previous lecture we have completed uh, how we'll draw column so in this lecture i'm going to show you how we'll draw beam i mean grid beam then how we'll draw uh, how we'll replicate that model after replicating replicating our model we'll draw our floor beam okay so first of all we'll go to our ground floor or level one here and here we'll draw our grid beam so to draw our grid beam i'll go to our plan here our zb layout that means grid beam layout and our grid beam zb1 it's 10 into 15 and zb2 10 into 18 so first of all i'll go to here we'll define our beam section okay i'll go to a structure from here we have two option beam wall column floor we'll go to beam option and from beam option we're getting uh, different types of beam this is universal this is uh, sss a square i mean the pipe type or a square type box we need concrete so here concrete rectangular i'll select any of that and click edit to create the size as per requirement i'll click duplicate i'll give here zb1 so what is the size of zb1 10 10 means 2500 10 into 15 okay 10 to 15 so 15 into 25 means 15 into 25 375 copy it and paste it here 375 and click ok so here our zv1 250 width and depth 375 ok this is the size of this concrete and here they have many things actually cost here cost then uh, type mark will define it later after completing our model <coughs> okay so when it's done i'll click apply and okay See here a section zb12375 uh, mm is available here again okay again i'll go here i'll create another duplicate so that section will be zv2 zb2 and its size is 10 into 18 450 so depth will be 450 and with this same as previous okay then click okay just change change it here apply okay done now as per our plan i will draw it here zb2 here zb2 also here uh, zb2 and here and uh without that one two three four that four layer beam every beam are zb1 First of all, we will create our uh, ZB2. We'll go here. Click here for GB Great Beam 2. <laughs> okay. Now, they have many options where we'll draw actually. We'll draw in level 1, fine. A structure uses. They have many options. Okay. They have many options, but we'll use automatic and we'll use chain option what is the meaning of chain so after completing one we'll be able to draw another one okay so i'll use chain option now just simply come here center of that beam here to here see again i'll click here then enter 
or escape okay done now for that from that point to that point from that point to that point and escape again here okay after that uh maybe we have another beam like here and here from that point to that point after that from this point to this point done so we have uh drawn our all gb2 now we'll go for gb1 i'll click here for gb1 and simply on by on we'll draw it enter escape done and here we have another beam i think we are done now if we go to 3d just see we have created our beam perfectly here here we have done perfectly now what we have to do we will go for replicate i'll go to level one i'll select all of that member remember you will start from that side but if you start from that side everything connected with grid will be selected also the grid will be selected so i'll escape it i'll only select that member okay so after selecting i'll just click here copy to clipboard i'll click here and then paste to assign to a structured or selected level so i'll go here and which level i will to place in level 2 only in level 2 i'll place then i'll go for another uh, story click ok and go to here okay <clears throat> now you can see our uh, every column here every column we are seeing that are in of with that i mean uh th this column is not perfectly till that level why because our that column size was uh, very less so what i'll do i'll come here like that way and no sorry not from 3d i'll come from um, any direction and from here here i have uh, selected all of our member otherwise they have another option i'll go to level two i'll go to level two and from here simply all of our structural member okay so this is our c1 now what we can do it i'll just come here this is our uh this is our top level okay and uh the base offset so where our base offset will be uh, base level so we'll take base level as a level one hmm. base level as a level one and then we'll go for duplicate again i will escape and just here base offset so we'll provide this base offset as a zero and just click here and go to 3d just see here uh, this column have uh, placed correctly now we'll go for all column press ctrl and select all of our column in this way from that side okay okay and just give it zero and then click okay 
and go to 3D. Just see. We have done perfectly. <clears throat> okay, and now if we go here, see, it's also okay. Now, we have to go for our next step. So, what is the next step? I'll go to level 2, and in level 2, if I select a beam, this beam are in showing as a grid beam. So, uh, as per our plan, it will be floor beam. Okay. So, I'll go to AutoCAD plan. And here, our uh, same here 10, 18, uh, 10, 18, 10, 18, 10, 15, 10, 18, 10. Okay. The size of the beam and marking of the beam are also same okay uh, so uh, what we'll do i'll just change the name actually i'll go to here i'll click edit so this is gp1 okay i'll take duplicate it will be fp1 only and everything will be same click okay and okay maybe i'll close it because i have selected a beam i will not select the beam a structure then go to beam and from here a zb1 is selected now i'll change it duplicate it will be fb1 fb1 and size will be same as previous okay then okay then again go here sorry i'll go with respect to gb2 edit go for replicate just simply give give here fb2 done and just click okay click okay <clears throat> it's done now what we'll do i'll select our all First of all, ZB2 here, here, then here, and I'll check our AutoCAD plan. GB2, 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 this is on GB2, okay. <clears throat> done so this is the uh, beam offered a b2 from here i'll select a b2 and click anywhere see it's changed to a b2 clear now i'm going to show you another option or another way to select multiple element at a time now say uh, uh already we have done changing our element or pin section manually after uh, pressing ctrl select like that okay escape it to clear it but now i'll show you another technique to select anything very quickly how just simply right click sorry simply select then in any open space right click then you will get an option here select all instance there are two options visible in view that means the things you are seeing here it will be selected as a similar element but if you want to select from inter project you will be able to uh, do it by clicking in inter project so click here see the beam all zb1 we have selected previously have been selected and if we go here in 3d also zb1 from our bottom floor have been selected but we need to select only beam from level 2 to change that right so i'll escape it i'll go to level 2 again i will click any of uh, zb2 zb1 then right click in open space go to select all instance 
view visible in view done and if you go in 3d just see the no beam has been selected from bottom floor now just simply come here and select fb1 and click here now if i click here just see the beam have been changed as a floor beam that's it so in this way every beam have been selected have been changed so done in this way we are able to create beam we are able to uh, replicate we are able to modify the beam so thank you thank you very much stl stay connected till next lecture